Welcome to Market Makers, everybody. Your home for tomorrow's TA today. Often imitate it, never replicate it. We gave you warning about the timing cycles, the Fibonacci targets that were hit. I gave you the trades that I was taking in the marketplace. S&P above 5,300, NASDAQ above 18.6. I gave you back-to-back -back Solana trades. Our last Solana trade just over the weekend hit 45% profit in winter. That's like the whole market crash that the crash callers went in the S&P. You got that over a weekend, in less than a week off of that Solana trade. This is why trading can build wealth. The Ponzi salesman on TV will tell you, well, Bob, it's not timing the market. It's time in the market. That's how you make money. You can time the markets if you understand Fibonacci targets, harmonic cycles, if you understand key cycles in the marketplace, such as trading in a solar maximum with an eclipse crash cycle after a parabolic wave up. We were looking for that turn in the market. We got the turn in every single asset since the total solar eclipse, April 8th, has fallen into profit in the shorts if it wasn't in profit already from shorting near the exact top, guys. This is what you get on the Market Makers channel. I implore you, check out our Discord. I'd love to see you in the room. Guys, share these videos with your friends, with your family. As you know, we are shadow banned on YouTube. All these videos are posted on X. Message Lee in the Telegram to join our Discord. All that information is in the video description. Lee, without further ado, we need to go look at the key market support for the indices, which is the 50 moving average. And let's see what's happening in the marketplace. Let's start the show, Lee. All right, boys and girls, if you'd like to join our Discord, message Lee in the Telegram. Love to see you in the room where we talk about these trades. There's a bunch of people in there that are trading their own TA. We have moderators that post ideas as well. So it's a great place to be for confluence or for another opinion on your market view. Message Lee in the Telegram that's in the video description and he can help you join. Guys, if you want to join for free, Simple FX, great sponsor. Bing X, great sponsor where you can trade all of these Ponzi markets on those platforms with our bonuses. Those links are also in the video description. It helps support this channel. Please do like and subscribe and share this TA, the shadow ban TA. Guys, we're looking at the 10 year right now, pulling down a fib retracement from your cycle high here, 5%. You're at four spot six, four right now. I think you're going up to four spot seven, five, four spot seven, six, right up here at the 786. Maybe we'll get a pause before we get there, but I think that's your target. The key is, can the markets hold up? Remember, we talked about this. What's so interesting about cycles, clearly we've had this event happen in the Middle East, but we knew about the turn in the markets based on the eclipse crash cycle. 
right? So we knew about the turn in the markets. Now everybody on TV is talking about, you know, the uncertainty with the Middle East, what's going to happen. When you're looking at the DXY, guys, we have this going to 106 spot seven. We're at 106 spot 089 right now. We have confluence for this target with our Fibonacci harmonic expansion, 106 spot five or 106 spot six. And again, this is nothing more than a giant W pattern on a breakout to the upside, putting pressure on the markets. Let's lead off with the baby S&P, the Dow. Here's your uh, lunar eclipse down here at Halloween, your market bottom. Here's your lunar eclipse right before the total solar eclipse. And look at the market, right? So you can say it's the Middle East, fine. Point is, we knew about this the whole time to expect a turn in a market, an overextended market, getting beyond its harmonic proportionality, looking for that turn. You got the turn. Here on the baby S&P, you're below the 50. Here's your 200. Your 200 is way down here. Let's get these exact numbers. Your 50 is at 39,110. Your 200 is at 36,329. You broke your trend line. Look, at some point, you're going to get a counter trend rally to break back to the upside. A lot of people would expect that to be with earnings if earnings continue to come in good. So you can see this come back up. Doesn't change where I think you're going. We're already almost at our December high, our peak FOMO high here on the DJI. When you look at this, look at that. You found the support. I hate the dotted line. Hold on. Let me change that. Get this to a solid line so you guys can see it. You found this support right off your fractal high. Remember on our indicators, peak FOMO, peak momentum, winter solstice rally, aka Santa Claus rally. And that's where you found your support. And that's what you're trying to hold. So you could wave back up to the upside. But if yields continue to rise, the DXY continues to break out. If anything else pops off in the Middle East, you could see this breakdown even lower. And remember, looking at the Dow, not because I'm trading it, I'm not, because it's a leading indicator for the S&P. It is a mirror image of the S&P representing all of the sectors in the S&P in a much smaller platform. And this is a big decline since the total solar eclipse. You have had, what is this, 5%? 5.5% decline in the Dow, okay? 5.5% decline. Let's go ahead and look at this on the E-mini. This is how I believe this cycle is going to play out. Right now, you're trading at 51.77 for the S&P. Again, here's your key turning points in the market. Halloween, lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse right before the total solar eclipse. And look what's happened since then. Just red three-day candles down, right? So if this retracement continues to play out, my two targets are 48.21, bringing you right back to that peak FOMO high that we talk about over and over, guys. 48.21, all the way down to your cycle high of 45.85 down here. Not cycle high, wave one high, 45.85. So we can call it 4,600, 4,800 for easy math, right? But those are the two targets that I'm looking at here for that wave four in esoteric wave theory, then the bounce back up to our two upside targets, 5835 and 6082 would be my two key upside targets after we get this retracement. You're going to get counter trend rallies. At some point, this will rally back up just like you did in the last correction, okay? The key is how deep will we go? We're going to look in a smaller time from the daily before we bounce back off. Right now, we are holding our 50 moving average. That is very key. A lot of questions in the comments asking me what happens after my wave five. What would happen after we get to 5,800, 6,100, 6,000? What happens after that? Every single three sigma stock bubble, three standard deviations from long-term trend has, has resulted in a decline in the stock market, every single one for the history of the stock market of a minimum of 50%. You look back at the Nifty 50 bubble, that went down 66%. You look at .com, you went down 50%. So if you get to 6,000, 50% would be 3,000. Oftentimes, these things overcorrect to the downside, which is why if you go back in my videos, I've had the same target, 2,000, 2,500 on the S&P at the end of the cycle. There's a ton of trading to do between now and then. Most immediately, this retracement down, buying at one of these lows where we bought them, and then the push up for the blow off top. And again, 
if we have inflation kick back up, if we have a black swan event occur, if we have something in the marketplace occur that causes the markets to tumble, that will be your lower high on that wave back up. And remember, we have this peak in the market coming November 18th, just based on market symmetry. None of this has to play out. It's something key that everybody needs to understand. This is simply based on market symmetry. This is all you're looking at here is market symmetry with the wavelengths and with the retracement lengths and the timing cycles. We've had key timing cycles kick into the marketplace. As you guys know, we've covered this extensively between your wave two and wave three. You got your 35 bars. 153 days. Again, if you go back a bar, 34 bars, Fibonacci sequencing, 144 days is what you are looking for on a completion of a harmonic cycle. This gave you a turn in the market, not to the day, within a few days. The eclipse crash cycle so far gave you the turn in the market, not to the day, within a few days, right? So this is what you need to understand. Cycles is not about hitting the exact day of when you have a key turn. It's understanding what can affect the play of the price action and the assets that you are tracking. And this is what's happening right now. 5184 on the S&P. Looking at this on the daily time frame again, you still have to take out the 50. You bounced off the 50 the first time you've touched it since October when you broke through on this parabolic rally, right? So you have to break below the 50 and you're going to get a counter trend rally which they were trying to muster today. So will we break below the 50 then rally back up maybe to the 50 and then roll over or do we bounce back up? But let's just look at fibs and see what we have here from our all-time high down to this low here of the top. I mean, you didn't even get to the 382 at 5220 on the daily time frame and the 618s at 5263, 786 is basically at 5300. So, look, earnings keep coming in. If the yields can back off, if the dollar can back off, you could get that wave action back up to the 618 before you roll over. If you do not, then you can lose the 50, come back, back test it, right? We talk about this all the time, and this would be your Livermore pivot to the downside. This is when most people that do TA on uh, on uh, YouTube and on X will tell you to short the market is after this move. If you understand timing cycles in the market, if you understand harmonic expansion vis-a-vis -vis Fibonacci, I told you to get in, or I got in, I don't tell you to do anything. I got in above 5,300, posted this trade, on the Discord, this is how you can time the market and have successful trades so that if it breaks down further, even more money in the bank. So let's go ahead and look at this on the indicator perspective. Indicators, again, these have not changed. Bearish divergence since your winter solstice rally, right? So you see your MFI down left to right, price up left to right, momentum down left to right. You're down at the median line about to cross negative on the daily time frame. This is a key battleground, guys. You want to watch your 50 here. And the 50 is at 51.52 at the moment. Price again, 51.85. You're $30 above it. Can you slip beneath it or not? If you can hold this, look for that wave play back to the upside at some point. Looking at the NQ, everything's the same here, guys. Lunar Eclipse gave you your October base. Rally back up from wave two to three. And then you have your Lunar Eclipse, your total solar eclipse. You have price rolling down. Key retracements I want to get to, 16,786. So we'll call it 16,8 and 15,885. So just under 16K are my two retracement targets. Up wave for that final blow off top if we don't make a lower high. Final blow off top, 21K, 21.5 for the 1618. Been over these charts. We built these charts out, so I'm not spending too much time on them. Go back the last couple of videos and watch it. Key point to note, if we get to 21K, you're doing a doubling in the marketplace, a 100% move off your market low, the natural having and doubling in the marketplace. Looking at NQ, you're at 18.216. You are in chop still. You are holding the 50 still, guys. Again, this is the key area you have to break algorithmic trading 50 percent of the marketplace is looking at the 50 looking at the 200 you have to break below or you can wave back up 18051 is your fractal that you need to break that is your fracture line 18051 let's pull a fib down from your all-time high 
down to that low. Again, if you do rally back up, you almost got to the 50% retracement of 18,380. If you rally back up, you want to watch your 18,380, 18,457, 18,568. And that would give you this move. Earnings keep coming in, big tech surprises to the upside, or people flee there for a flight to safety. Look for some type of move like that as a potential another entry if you do believe the markets are rolling over as I do. So we shall see how this plays out. 18 to 15 right now at the time of recording. Indicators are the same. We cover that every video. I'm not going to do it for every indice, guys. Looking at the NQ on the one hour, you can see our fractal corridors that formed. You can see price is just waving up and down. The key area, you're stuck between 18,408, 18,051. Lots of chop, smaller time frame trades available in here, but those are your two areas. You break below 18,051, you are below the 50. If you start selling off, if yields keep pushing up, that's a key area you want to watch. Let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin was trying to hold bullish, but again, we've been over this three-day chart on Bitcoin, guys. We've been over this many times, but if we pull our FIB down here to our diamond pattern low before our breakout, you have the 1618-64299. This is essentially the area I told you you need to hold, and you're sitting on it right now. You have your down candles, your false breaks to the downside, and your moves back up. But the target that we hit, right, that we've talked about for many, many weeks was your 2 fib 73765. So you're stuck between 64, 3, 73, 765 on a three day chart. Three day chart, your momentum on MFI has now turned bearish. Your momentum is moving towards the median line overall. But when we look at this, guys, I want to look at the retracements. We're going to look at how this could break down on the daily. But again, when you look at this, I want to look at this specific leg here. Okay. This is the leg I want to look at here. Now, if we look at this, pull our FIB retracement, January 22nd candle up to our all-time high. You can see coming down to that 60K level, we've hit the 382. Look, the 618, right? The most commonly retraced to FIB in the equity markets, specifically in the S&P over a 30-year study, is 52,024. So this is a very realistic target. And then target beneath it that we've been talking about, the 786, which is currently based on the price action at 46, that would be your deeper level retracement. So if the S&P goes to 4,800, I think Bitcoin's at least coming down to 52 before it bounces back to the upside. I've covered all these targets. I showed you how you can get to that 100K Bitcoin. If you can hold these levels, if you can hold 52 or 46, a deeper retracement does not mean a lower all-time high guys. It actually is a rubber band. You're pulling the rubber band back. You can get higher highs based off a deeper retracement. But I think if you can hold 52, it looks for it looks good at that level that Bitcoin it would hold this area if the S&P comes to 4,800. Because let's measure this real quick. From your all-time high, if you retrace down to the 618, it's still nearly a 30% drop. 30% drop. So that would make sense, especially if the NASDAQ's doing a 10, 11% drop, moving at a three beta to the NASDAQ, which is a good historical correlation for Bitcoin, 30%, 52,024. And that's where you get to on Bitcoin on a retracement, but you got to break key levels. Let's look at this on the daily time frame. Again, there's a fractal I told you guys to watch, 71,850. We got a wick above it. What happened? You started breaking down, right? You started breaking down. When did you start breaking down? When did you get that wick right here, by the way? Look at the date, April 8th, total solar eclipse. Bitcoin, actually, if you just short it, somewhere out there is an 18-year-old girl... <laughs> <laughs> that like loves, you know, loves this stuff, lunar cycles, trading, whatever. Somewhere out there, she just short it based on that 18% drop in Bitcoin from April 8th. Okay. You bounce back up. You're back in this corridor right now. You're neutral. I would give you the bias of neutral. If you are below 64,450, which you're at 64,552, you're pretty close to it. Below this fractal, your bias is downside. You're back in this neutral corridor right now. You want to be above 71,850, ultimately above 73,843. For more upside, I gave you that 76,4 target if you get a false break to the upside before a deeper retracement. But below this level, you have a bias to continue to the downside. But the equity market sitting on their 50, namely the S&P and the NASDAQ, 
Bitcoin is still in this neutral territory, flirting with the bias to the downside though. Okay, guys, so be very well aware of that. That again, those key levels, 64,450, you want to stay above that and you definitely want to stay above 60,780. You start breaking below that, you're moving to at least that 52K level, if not the 45, 46K level, depending what happens in the equity markets. Moving forward, Bitcoin on a five hour chart. Again, you can see this is just more candles for the same price action, but there's your April 8th total solar eclipse, your march up to it. Then you fell down, a lower high, start to break down. You just get your wave movements up and down, up and down, building your corridors. So that's where you are right now. Everything's struggling. Look at Solana, guys. We set this trade up over weeks, weeks on this channel, and what a huge payoff. Our first trade I gave you on Solana right around that 205 area, came down 23%. The second trade, however, this was the real winner. Posted this in the Discord as well, that 200, the 205 entry level, we got the 204 and it fell 45%. This is why crypto can be so much fun to trade. Basically in an epic market crash in equities, that would be your whole retracement you'd be looking for, basically a 50% retracement. So you got an epic Move down in Solana. Currently, it's at 143. It went all the way down. How low did this actually get? Let me click this. This actually got down to 113. So it's had a nice bounce back up. Let's get some of the stuff off so you can see what's going on here with the price action. But you're still below your breakdown level. Your breakdown level, remember I told you, if you close below that 163, you're breaking down. And certainly you did. 163 is what you need to get back above. This is still very bearish. This is the daily time frame. You can see your three wave pattern here that formed. We talked about it over and over. That's why I took a trade at that level. And now we have the breakdown and the little move back up. So if you come back into this area, remember on a larger time frame, say a three day, this will just be nothing more than a larger three wave pattern on a three day chart, right? You get less candles, you see the points easier, you see the bases easier, but that's all that would be. Again, this is if the pressure continues on the marketplace to roll over. All of this is taking some time to play out. You look at Ethereum, again, since the total solar eclipse, 25% moved down. 25% moved down. We had our key levels on Ethereum. We talked about them, 4,013, it was hit, moved down. 3,700. We almost got to it here. We hit it once again, and then we fell down and we bounced essentially off of that 20, what were we get to down here? 2,700, 2,800, 2,796. And now you're at 3,170. The key level you want to watch up here is your 618, 3,343, which was previously support will act as resistance. So you want to watch this area if you are trading Ethereum. But uh, guys, I mean, again, this is going to follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to follow the markets. And let's see what's happening with ADA. Gave you this channel here for ADA, guys. ADA, I told you, if it breaks this fractal, 56 cents, 56.7, so we'll call it 57 cents, breaks that fractal, look what happened. Since when? Since the total solar eclipse, a 37% move down. Since April 8th, 37% move down. ADA bounced back up. Your key resistance is going to be whence you fell from, 57 cents. But if we want to look at this from a Fibonacci perspective, which we can do, we can look at this from this leg that fell apart here. You're getting rejected right around the 50 cent mark. You want to see if you can get back up to 53. But again, that 786 up here, 57 cents, that is an area you want to see if you get some resistance up here in this area before potentially coming back down for another lower leg. Okay. So that's an area to watch. But again, the markets can easily rally counter trend rally. They're holding their 50s, the equity markets. If they do, I would expect Bitcoin to counter trend rally, which means the altcoins were counter trend rally. This is why I view the markets as a whole. And I don't sit there and just look at one thing in the marketplace. You have to, and these types of environments, when you have volatile markets in the equities, when you have a bubble cycle, you have to pay attention to all the different indicators in the marketplace. Let's go international, looking at the DAX. The DAX is doing what? Following the US markets. You are, you know, you're bouncing back up, you're embarrassed territory on the MFI, but you can see the DAX also struggling here. Big sell-off. 
There's your April 2nd high. DAX tried to rebound, got all the way up to 18,423. You're currently at 18,265. So the DAX is a nothing burger right now as well. This is your 50 on the DAX. It's below you, okay? 17,826. If you come down to the 50, this may be the area to get a nice bounce back up, do something like this, get a lower high, right? Because this is what you'd be looking at if the markets continue to roll over. Look at that, Drew, right where the 618 would be, 18,452. So 18,5, that's if you continue down first and then bounce back up. But it hasn't kissed its 50 like the US markets. So I'd just be watching these key levels. DAX of interest, I like 786 levels, 18,621. If it can come back up here at this level, maybe an interesting spot if I wanted to dabble there in the DAX. Let's look at the Aussie market. Again, we talked about these levels, guys. We talked about hitting the two fib 79.58, sell off, rally back up with our W pattern. And we got up to this fractal level here and then we sold back off, right? So if we look at this, again, if we just take, let's take away this larger fib projection and just look at the current price action. We go from this high, fractal high, at this point to our low, right? This is where we were talking about the Aussie market, right at the 618.7890. Fell back down. So right now where you are at on this market, you're beneath the fractal. You may roll back up with the markets if we get a counter trend rally that develops with earnings. So you want to watch that level. That's the level that you want to watch. And I would look at this previous fractal high here. These are the levels I'd be interested in potentially 78.56, 78.83 takes you back to the upper range of this fractal level. And if you break out through this, if you for some reason got really bullish, then you can pull your FIB retracement from the all-time high down to your low and see what your levels are. Always looking for confluence with this, but I would trade this market based on what the US markets are doing as well. Guys, leave me your comments, leave me your questions. I reply as always, this video is posted on X. Give us a follow there. Happy Monday, everybody. And I'll talk to you on the Thursday transmission. Take care.